I think some of that is so like the the core memories. Every market, every place is going to have core things within it. You know, like uh, you think about like some of the first original parties of like Christmas parties and like even the the things like that. They're just like I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the older uh, folks. Some of you that may have just joined on. I've got the document from the leadership meeting outline. Uh, if you want to go and follow along, there's an image. Uh, as well. So you want to see it on the document. It's there. It's 1.30, everybody. Welcome on. Happy Tuesday. It is my favorite day of the week. I don't know. Maybe it's it, it goes in conjunction as to what the favorite day of the week is. That'd be a good poll someday. Hashtag admin stats. Um, we'll see. But uh, yeah, I think, I think Tuesday is cool. I appreciate everybody who's jumping on and talking about some of the things that are going to be uh, some of the things are going to be quick hits, some some always there's like some quick like, hey, set the direction for. And then there's other things that we talk about in this meeting, which is much more philosophical and you got to have your thinking hats on. Right. And like and so I know coming into this meeting, I hope that you prepare in the sense of like, OK, I want to be in a position where I can actually be able to think and be in a, be in a, a, a surrounding that allows for that. And like I always say, I appreciate those that come camera on as if you're walking into a meeting and the way to walk into a meeting as uh, you know, in, in that world is on time, ready to go, ready to rock. Let's do it. Core value of the week is that we are professionals with a standard of excellence. And this one has some very specific words, as most of them do. Right. The uh, the first thing I wanted to point out with this one is that the word excellence, excellence is like a word that has defined our company from the start, right? We talked about excellence and we've always emphasized it. We've always said the word, you know, we, we are a professional standard of excellence, it's been an original core value. And then you look at the award that we won was actually the excellence award, which is insane. Like I didn't make that up, that happened. I think that this company will always be defined by our excellence. Like an excellence is not perfection. I think that's where sometimes people mistake excellence and think that they've got to be perfect. No, excellence is where you can say, I, I posted the grill today. If you see, if you look on our social media today, you'll see a grill that we deep cleaned, right? That was deep cleaned with excellence. Now, if you try to deep clean a grill to perfection, you might be there for seven hours. Like, have you ever tried deep cleaning a grill? There are so many, but it was excellent. Excellence and excellence is what that is. It is not perfection, but it is also not mediocrity. Right? I think that we sometimes think that you know to go into to go into a house, we sometimes almost look and be like, I don't even want to get into it because I'd have to get the toothbrush out and get that deep clean of that grill in order to have this pass. No, excellence is what wins, right? And I'm going to be going into the property this week and I'm going to have to now, as the CEO of the company, be able to walk in and get my field experience badge, which means that I'm there from the start to the finish. And I put my stamp that this place that I am servicing has excellence on it. Well, that is a momentous weight almost to bear if you're expecting perfection, but I can expect excellence. So I will have the things reported that need to be reported. I will make sure that if there is something, and you know, if you all are out there that you're going to have to bear that weight of excellence and every one of us should be that. So that's the first thing. Excellence is not perfection, but it is also not mediocrity, right? It is not turning aside and saying like, I don't want to deal with that, right? I know it's not right, or I know it's not this or that. You, you guys should know what excellence is, and I think you do. We as a company have definitely found that level of excellence. I see it in our beds. I see it in our in our work that we complete. I see it in our communication. Like we have, we have found the rhythms of excellence in a large part. Um, we can also be better, right? We can also sometimes look and say, man, at that time we failed at our standard of excellence. Like we didn't hit the mark on that sense. Or maybe we were too obsessed with perfection that we that we got so much in the weeds and we didn't just look beyond and say, let's get to a point of excellence. And so that's the first thing. Second thing I was going to mention about our core value, professionals. We are professionals. That word matters. We talk about it all the time. And guys, I'm just telling you, professionals are not amateurs. There is a distinct difference between the words which defines what someone is, right? A professional is something. And man, we all, you all, just like me, we are living this life that we live for the first time that we are aware of you, of whatever you may think about reincarnation. I, I know this. We always looked at what it would be like. We were kids. We all were not so long ago. 
And we were like, what would a big kid world look like? You know, well, I'd be probably having a job and I would hopefully having impact and, and I would hopefully be a professional at something, right? Well, this is it, right? Amateur hour is over. Amateurs are just the opposite of professionals. When you look at a professional is, a professional is someone who is experienced. A professional is someone who is confident in what they do, right? They've done this for a bit and now they're able to proceed with confidence. They're also knowledgeable. They actually have some information and they are ready to give that information and the final thing I wrote down was that the professionals, they're teachable because the more that you learn, the more you realize what you don't know, right? And you're always trying to absorb information. You look at any professional and I always lead to athletes, right? We were talking about the NFL season a bit ago. Uh, as we get down to the level of like where the highest level professionals made it, right? They're always sitting there saying like, you know, we've got to get better. We're not quite there yet. You know, they don't ever are like, we've arrived. We're the best. We're, we made it to this. It's like, they're always pursuing more. They're teachable with information. Let's watch film. Let's look back and see what we did well. It's that they are experienced, confident, knowledgeable, and teachable. Are you that? Or are you sitting there in the amateur leagues, right? Which is the people that are the opposite of that. They're not experienced. Uh, some of y'all, mm, some of y'all are going to get your field experience badge and it's going to mean a lot. And some of you won't. And it'll be pretty obvious as to that, right? I think it'll be a little bit obvious because it's like, are you experienced? Do you know what we're talking about? Are you confident? Are you knowledgeable and teachable? That is what professionals are. So be that in the leadership of this company. Let's be professionals with a standard of excellence always. Like that is our standard. We should look and it should be weird when we don't hit that. And by the way, I talk about this a lot. It's okay to admit when we don't hit that, when we don't hit the standard of excellence, man. I do it. I do it all the time. I'm like, yesterday, I'm like, it was a weird day for me, right? It, I, it, was, it was just a strange everything. And I'm the one talking about it. I'm the one calling admin and saying, like, I didn't even barely work. I had a situation that came up, like all that kind of stuff. Because I expect a lot out of my Monday when I am the CEO of a company in a place that matters, right? And you all have a role as the leaders. If you are supposed to sit in a seat, man, do it with excellence, like actual excellence. And, and when you don't, be the first one to be like, hand up. Like that's, that was on me. Watch a quarterback of any team. Watch. I, I got to stop using football analogies. Football season's almost over. I'm going to get a new analogy for everybody. Uh, but like, truly that is something that you, you study professionals and you will see that fingerprint is always there, right? They have experience. They are confident. They are knowledgeable and they're also teachable. That is the value of the week, the core value of the week. Let's talk about it. Let's freaking be about it. I'm going to turn it over to Chelsea, who is going to touch base on our weekly emphasis videos. Chelsea, go ahead. So this week is the wild card, wild factor emphasis. So all the five weekly emphasis videos have been completed and sent out to all of our contractors with the link to the Cleaner Resource Center. Um, these are where these videos are going to live. So if you have not already watched them, it is important that you go ahead and watch these videos. Um, they are very, very highly informative. So do yourself a huge favor and get familiar with them. Um, and well and good, we are all responsible for the weekly emphasis, especially those entering the homes, whether it's the cleaner or it's the inspector, or if it's leadership, whoever it is, if you're in a home, it is very important that we are taking action on this weekly emphasis. Taking action could be as simple as just wiping a little baseboard really quickly. Taking a photo and saying an update is needed. But if you imagine if everyone that is inside of the home is taking action on these weekly emphasis, how transformed these homes will be. So if you haven't added the well and good calendar to your calendar, I highly recommend doing that because in the morning you can see it really quick at the top. You can see what the emphasis is. It's very important to know what it is, when they are. And when you have this information, you will be able to, you know, take that action in the home. So let's really lead from the front. And as always, if you need anything, let me know. I'm here to help. And let's really get these homes transformed. And that's me. Perfectly said. Thank you, Chelsea. Uh, the weekly emphasis is as big as we emphasize it, right? So now it's in action. All five have been sent out. If you haven't watched them, catch up, y'all. It's there and it's real and it's as much as we emphasize it. So thank you for that, Chelsea. Uh, a couple of quick things. And University is now accepting written reports, right? So if you're sitting there thinking, I can't do an audio message, man, I'll tell you, I, it, it is, it is uh, sometimes I like audio everything, right? But if somebody wants to do a written report, no worries. That's not, we're not going to say no to that. Um, send it obviously to Holly. There is obviously the homework from last week, if you haven't said to Holly already, but Holly receives all kinds of DMs, knows more about our lives than anybody probably. But I, uh, that is, uh, that is something that, 
do it if you haven't done it. Man, I've been surprised at sometimes when I click on some of y'all's Slack badges and I don't see an university grads. I mean, it, sometimes it is surprising to me. I would be like, get all over that. I'm also sometimes don't even need to look because I know some of y'all don't even have it close because you don't live any of the things that are in there. But that's a whole other topic. A lot of you do though, right? If you've done it and you actually have read the books, man, get the badge, get the badge. It's there. Uh, if you ever have any questions, resource center, boom, it's all there written out. It's easier than you think. And there are going to be some new additions to our Ann University content. I know I've talked about that. There's new additions coming from Ann University from what the what the stuff is going to be. We just put out a very rudimentary start to this, right? We wanted to get the wheels in motion. And some folks have actually done it. The ones that have done it, shout out to the graduates. I think there's four of us, I want to say, maybe five of us, paltry in terms of numbers that what it should be in my my mind but that's just me uh but i'll tell you what those ones that have it <clears throat> yeah they'll be on the leadership call for a while my guess is they're probably on right oh they are boom 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 and they're here and they're in and they're engaged and watch as oh professionals happen right like it's just so obvious anyway um do the things like sometimes just walk down the things and you'll be shocked at where you get uh so i think learn it for your learn it for your like for yourself like that's the, i just I, man, it doesn't matter to me in terms of like a badge and all that stuff. Like, it's like, guys, this will actually be information that will help you in your career. Like, I promise it. I pro we are not doing it to waste someone's time. The folks that have can talk to talk to anybody who's got the badge and just see what they thought of it. And like, or listen, Holly's listened to the audio messages, right? And like actually learned in the sense of like, or heard from what people have learned. And it's like, man, there's, there's a lot of cool stuff there. Um, Anywho. Let's go to my last thought, which was Murdad. Um, I put it on the document if some of y'all are following along. Murdad is a guy who worked for us in the early days. Some of you remember. I don't know. Give us give an emoji if you ever worked with a Murdad. Um, we're talking like back 2020, 2021, Nick Hilda. Uh, yeah, some of the early folks, right? And you even see a photo here, Hilda here, with a uh, a real sporty haircut. If you give you zoom in real careful, ask her about it if you get a chance. Uh, but uh, yeah, we <laughs> sure. add that horrible picture, didn't we? <laughs> I believe we're all supposed to be on mute during this call. <laughs> so, uh, the, uh, the, he was awesome, right? He was a guy who worked with us as he was a foreign exchange student, right? And his visa would not allow him to become an employee of a place. And so we, like we always do, want to help folks who are in between when it comes to their status. They, they, they have a visa that allows them to work. How can we make the right win for that? So he was there and he was working to become a, a professor. Well, he is now a professor at Arizona State University and he's crushing it in his job. And he stops by every once in a while because he worked with us for a little bit and he came by last week. And so I'm talking to him as he popped by and and just we were chatting about some of the things. And he, he said, you know, I was amazed at when I went there, uh, just about what, what so many people said they wouldn't do, right? It was at the point where we had a lot of employees in the field and it was like people that said, well, I'm not doing that. And one of the things he brought up was cleaning toilets. He's like, you know, so, so many people said they wouldn't clean toilets. And he's like, well, what are we here to do, right? Isn't, isn't that kind of like what we do? And he was talking about cleaning toilets. And I, I was like, man, I've never phrased this before. I've always thought it and I've even said it to other people. I don't think I've ever said it publicly here. A phrase that I just always have, have it, it runs through my mind all the time. It was originally told to me, I think somebody about like a trash collector is one of the things. And the, the phrase was just this. It said, there is no job that lowers the importance of a person. There are people that lower the importance of jobs. And that is something that's always stuck with me, right? If you think about the actual cleaning of a toilet, right? I cleaned a, a well and good toilet today. Today, I'm going into the bathroom here as, at, at our HQ. And as a guy does, sometimes you lift the top seat and that's something. And when I did, it was bad, right? It was like, you all know what it looks like when you flip open the top seat and it's like someone's Taco Tuesday just went like terribly wrong. And <laughs> you've been there, right? We are all, so, okay. So I had a decision to make. What am I doing about this? This wasn't my problem, but I also don't want it to look like it was my problem. So like I cleaned the toilet today. Like as I'm just like, and and I, you know how I'm, how I'm crazy about the bathrooms, right? Like leave the toilet seats down. Don't leave the toilet seats up. Like in general, we should never have well and good homes being left with toilet seats up. That's absolutely insane. Um, but the, the thing is, is like, that is not something that I should look at and say, well, that's what they do. 
right? It's not me that I would never, you know, instead it's like, well, I've actually cleaned a lot of toilets. In fact, that was, I mean, for a lot of my career, somehow I keep finding myself in companies that clean toilets. And like, that includes me. And it's not like what they do. It's if you just didn't know, it's what we do. Like it's what we as a company do. And, and if you ever get to the point where you feel like you are so disconnected from what we do, that is maybe a drift that you should catch yourself and be like, maybe I need that field experience badge. Maybe I need to understand what this company at its fundamental core does is service. And service is not something you want to get in and do. I talked about the siding. Give an emoji if you remember when I talked about the siding, the person that does the corners versus the person that does the wide open area. It's so easy to do the easy work, right? But somebody's got to do the hard work. And if you're telling me which one's more important, I would make a case that the most important is the hardest work. Because it, it, sure, being a being a CEO is an important job, quote unquote. I have to lead. I have to do this. Right. But we wouldn't die if I wasn't in this role, right? But if no one cleans toilets, we all get dysentery and we're gone, right? Like there are some elements that are like, what is more important? You have to have, it. we are an essential service. I think that that's something that we should think about a lot. What we do has to be done. There is someone who has to go do it. That is an important job. So ask yourself this, are you, are you ever lowering the importance of job? And are you ever feeling like you're above something? Because there should be nothing. Now, granted, you're right. I don't clean toilets a lot often in this company. I have, I have a different role that I feel like has been the right progression for me, but that does not mean that I lessen the importance of something. And that does not mean that I ever get so much that I wouldn't then do, right? Like that's an important distinction. And I just, I feel like it was a good thing from Murdad who came back and, you know, Murdad is a successful professional. And, and it's interesting to see what I, I mentioned, teachable and humble and all that stuff. When you look at professionals, they're oftentimes much more of that than you'd think, right? That you'd think that sometimes the professional is the one who's so high and mighty on their throne of excellence and they would never, they have the, no, most of the time the professional understands it because they've sat in different seats and they understand perspective. And then when that food comes out to them at the restaurant, they're kind to them because they know that somebody went through a lot of work to do that. Like it's the element of like understanding because you've done it and they're Therefore, I just want to be clear on what the field experience badge is. We're one minute over. Get yourself this field experience badge and you'll be glad you did. That is all. Happy Tuesday. Appreciate you all. Let's rock this week with a standard of excellence.